So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you little clips of a before, a little snippet of during, and then the final reveal of how I made over my guest bathroom. Um, we didn't really do anything with the major stuff. Like we didn't change out any tile or vanities or tub, shower, anything like that. We literally just, I painted it a shade darker. Um, I added some new accessories. We took out a big, huge cabinet. James built me a new shelf, added some new decor pieces, spruced it up just a little bit. So that's why I'm calling this my bathroom spruce up because it's not really a makeover. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope if you like it, you'll give it a thumbs up. If you haven't hit that little red subscribe button, I would ask you to please do. Maybe share this video with some family and friends that you think would be interested in it. And now without further ado, let's get to it. I want to show you the reveal. I'm so excited. Well, it's not quite the reveal. It's going to be the start of the video. So let's get to it. So this cabinet is coming down. And it will be replaced with the shelf. And then I'm going to be painting the bathroom this color. I know it doesn't look like it matches, but in person, it's like the exact same color as this. And it's different than this. And I can't wait to get this down and put it in my laundry room. I don't know if I'll keep it this color, if I'll paint it, but I think that this cabinet is just too big for this space. And I mean, worst case, I could put it over my toilet in my master bedroom. But, and then I'm going to be redoing all of this, moving, you know, changing it around. So, yeah. Probably redo the flowers in that. This looks more like fall to me. And my daughter even said that. But, I mean, I just love those colors. I didn't get it with the intentions of fall. I got it, like, because... I liked the reds and I've tried to incorporate the reds. If you'll notice, um, let me show you. Like with that little piece up there, incorporating the reds. So that was my intentions with this picture. All right, so I'm excited to get started. And it shouldn't take me too long to paint it. This bad boy down. It's just, I think it's just too bulky. Cabinet is down, thanks to the hubs. Oh my gosh. That made all the difference in the world. This is what color the walls were before I had them painted this color. Now they're gonna get that third layer. All right. Let me turn the silhouette on. It's all done. And I think it looks good. Um, I know you really can't tell on the, with the camera, with the paint, but the next will be decorating and that's the fun part. That's what we really care about, right? I'm gonna get in here and get everything cleaned up, get any paint off, up that, you know, might be where it's not supposed to be and just really clean it up. So this is my shelf James is making me to go over the toilet. And we picked up, James, where's that trim we picked up to go around the sides of it? Uh-oh. It's a little bit deeper than the kitchen shelf. And it's going to have the beadboard on the back. And this one's going to be stained. And then to go around this part, this part of it, and the top, we got this decorative trim. So I think it's going to be really nice. Thank you, honey. There's a difference in quality between paint grade and stain grade. Yeah. So you want all the joints 
some look for when you buy any type of furniture, sheds, or anything else. So that's why we got this because it's so busy here when he does the 45s. Mm -hmm. When you do the mitered edge, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'll try to match it up as best I can. But, right. uh, you know, as it's, busy as it is, yeah. it won't look bad any way it comes together. Right. So that's why we went with this because they didn't have the original kind that I had on my shelf in the kitchen. So we went with this instead. And I think it's going to look so good. I can't wait. All right, so here's my shelf, all finished. I'm fixing to stain it. I can't wait, I think it's gonna look so good. I have these little clips we're gonna use to hang on the back to hang it up with. And then for the stain color, I have chosen this red mahogany, which I'll show you what it looks like on the scrap piece of wood. This is it on the scrap piece of wood. And I think up next to, in the bathroom, since it is a custom piece, it's gonna look just fine. It's not the exact color of the cabinets, but then again, it doesn't look exactly like the cabinets. So there you go. ready to hang up my shelf over the toilet. I'm so excited about it. So, we'll be doing that in just a second. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna show y'all what we did. The final results. All right, so walking in, I added this cool beam up here to hide the shower curtain rod. To me, it just looks more finished and I just love the way it looked. And I stained it the same color as this gorgeous shelf James made me. Y'all, I love this piece. He made it the stain grade for me. If you'll see the detail in the molding different than um, the kitchen and I absolutely love it. I think it looks more proportioned over the toilet and I'm going to walk you through the goodies I've decided to put on it. So on this top shelf I have one of those little buckets that I hauled with the fern I had these cute little birds I got from Hobby Lobby. They were $3.99, 50% off. This is just a scrap piece of wood that I actually just put some antique glaze paint over, just kind of stain it a little bit, just to give it a little bit look. But I wanted it for the height so they wouldn't be on the same level. And then this is one of my cute little lanterns. It has one of those little battery operated candles in it. On this shelf, I don't know if you'll remember the little shelf I had over my toilet, but I had this little bird on it. And then this wreath is actually the one that come from my master bath. I put it in here. This J I got from at home. It was on clearance. I think it was like $1.99 on clearance. And I just loved the color of it and it just looked old. And then here's one of the flameless LED candles. And this is a little pedestal that I actually made and stain to match the shelf, and of course my cute little dolly. And then on this shelf, haha, <laughs> the best seat in the house. I just love this. I think it adds a little touch of whimsy and fun and kind of shows our sense of humor in this house. And then beside it, I got this. To me, I think it's fun. When I showed James, he just laughed because he said, you're gonna have to explain that to people, but I don't think I will. I think they'll get it. 
And then over here is another one of those little buckets with the fern. And then this is a string of those orange beads that I purchased. I used the white chalk spray paint on them. And then I just went over them with a little bit of the antique glaze. I actually attempted a tassel and made this. I'm not really good at it, but it's a start. And I figured for my first one, not so bad. And then I just have this little basket on the toilet with an extra roll of paper, some essentials. And then on the vanity, I just have this cute little bouquet of flowers and I just stuck it in this little olive can and then some soap. And then on this side, I just have these cute little shelves that I just put them back where they were. I got this cute little bird from Hobby Lobby. I think it was, let me see. I took the price off. It was a $2.99, $3.99, 50% off, but I really liked the colors of it. I thought it was really cute. And I have that. This little bird I got from at home. I think it was a dollar ninety-nine with fifty percent off. Or maybe it was $3.99, 50% off. It was really, really inexpensive. And this was the little red picture uh, uh, window I had. I just spray painted it with the white chalk paint spray paint. And then I went over it with the antique glaze and just kind of distressed it and made it look old. And I love it so much better. I think it really shows up much better. And I just love the way it turned out. So that's this area. Now on the wall opposite of the toilet. This is the window that come from my grandmother's old home place where she grew up. I do not know how old it is. I do know that it is over 100 years old because she just turned 93 and she grew up in the home that this window was on. So I do not know, but I'm gonna say it's well over 100. And this was the cute little tobacco basket I had hanging over the towel rack that was right. The towel rack went across here. I did not like the placement of it. It was in my way. This is a guest bath that does not get used that often. So I just did away with the towel rack and I put my window here. I think eventually I will get some old, well, I know I will. I will get some old scrap wood. And when I find the right kind of hooks, I will probably hang some hooks right here to kind of hang a towel or a robe or something in case we have any guests that would use this bathroom for a shower. But until now, this is what it is. And I just threw some greenery in this and I just really liked the way it turned out. I had originally wanted to add pops of red in here, but as you can see, I went more with the neutrals and the greens and the, the different shades of browns and creams. And the only pop of color I have in here is that. Well, my soap is red, but I think it works. What do y'all think? Do you think I did a good job? You think it turned out okay? I'm very happy with it. I'm very pleased with it. So I'm going to give y'all some close-ups of the shelves and the items on the shelves. And I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. What do you think? Oh my gosh, do you like it as much as I do? I just absolutely love it and I just love the way it turned out. What do you think about the shelf James made me? Is it not beautiful? I love it. It's a little bit deeper than um, the one he made me for my kitchen, but I had originally planned to roll up some towels and put on the shelves, but when I did that, it wasn't quite wide enough to hold like three towels, so I just used more decor pieces and I put the towels under the vanity um, just a few. We don't get a lot of guests or anything, so it was plenty of space down there. And then I was able to just decorate my shelf, and I just absolutely love it, and I hope you do too. And I just want to say a big thank you to James for coming through for me. He always listens to me and tries to make these visions in my head, even though he might not always understand them. 
but he will try to accommodate me and I just think that his work was just phenomenal and I'm so happy with how it all turned out and I hope you like it too. So until next time, bye y'all.